заместитель директора по научной части. For solving a number of fundamental problems in the scope of resonance influence on nonlinear physiological and biological systems. Here is a rather unique effect that we discovered as far back as in 1974, carrying out a research in Sverdlovsk. We have proved theoretically and for macrobodies experimentally that it is indeed possible to create selective traps to hold electrons, atoms, neutrons, and macrobodies in conditions of resonance. Back then, it was announced a breakthrough for nanotechnologies, because it has become possible to hold separate electrons and atoms, sort them, mount them on a board, and, in fact, get molecular technologies. There is a coil with an alternating electromagnetic field at the bottom, a permanent magnet on the outside. There is an area where a magnetic dipole gets into the zone of stable resonance. We can see that it is oscillating. As soon as it gets closer, it goes down. In other words, a stable resonance zone appears. This is a model which visually demonstrates a possibility of resonance capture. The type of field is not important. It can be an electric field, a hydraulic one, or any other type. Why is it interesting? It is separation of powders and nanopowders. It is also possible to separate microorganisms and cells. Here is a unique, batch-produced installation. It has no analogous in the world. This installation is used for non-contact activation of different liquids. Right now, infusion solutions are being activated in this particular installation. Notably, as a result, the liquid is being activated inside these infusion solutions. It transits into the metastable non-equilibrium thermodynamic state with a cluster structure. After that, we take it out. The dropper is set and treatment begins. They already do so in the USA. Using an ultrasonic tomograph, we can see this activated liquid on the screen right now. Here, those clusters appear. They are the glowing objects. According to calculations, an effective temperature there is just colossal. The clusters emit supercoherent magnetic radiation. These very clusters are the reason for anomalous properties of water. The most interesting fact is that you can use this installation to activate not only the infusion solutions, but beer, milk and juices, because usually fresh juice has a negative redox potential. All the liquids you drink have positive redox potential. It means that they are acidic. That is why you should drink liquids with negative redox potential. They are antioxidants and they protect your organism. This installation might be used for non-contact activation of liquids that provides powerful biological properties. It has a very good system. What does it consist of? You take regular Moscow tap water, connect the installation to the water supply network. Then it has got reverse osmosis system, which turns contaminated water into super pure distilled water. But you must not drink distilled water. It is absolutely clear why. It washes the minerals out of your organism. Then it has an activator, a controller, a display. It also has sensors that track the composition of water. The water gets ionized and activated. On the output, the water that was charged plus 200-300 mV obtains a negative charge of minus 300 mV. If you drink such water, all the processes in your organism start to normalize and the illnesses begin to abate. The installation is also equipped with a mineralizer. By means of an electronic automated system, calcium, magnesium, selenium and fluorine ions are added to the water. This installation is based on the three best Russian technologies. Then there is a tap. Here we have sensors. The first sensor indicates that the water is pure. If the tracking system starts blinking red, it means that it's time to change the filters. The second sensor indicates that the water is ionized and negatively charged. And the third one indicates that the mineralizer works and you have a needed concentration. What's more, you can choose charge and mineralization quantity. Our company invites everybody to cooperation. We invite scientific and technical divisions, academic divisions and plants to our Noah's Ark to sail out of this crisis together.